welcome back to the voice of diabetes. This is Diana Butucci, and today I am going to talk to you guys about something that no one else actually discusses. We have patients who are very well controlled. They're probably on only lifestyle modifications. They're taking one or two medications for several years and they're doing great. All of a sudden their blood sugars are spiking and their A1Cs are going up, maybe they were in the 6th percentile, all of a sudden they're up in the 9th percentile and they have no idea what happened. The frustration is there, the physicians are upset, they don't understand what's going on with the patient. So today, if you are that person or you know someone, make sure you guys are watching because I'm going to tell you exactly why that happens. So first off, before we do that, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, like, comment, share with family, friends, anyone you know that would benefit from this channel please share it with them. Why all of a sudden does diabetes become unmanageable? Normally I'll get a referral from either primary care and I'll review the patient's charts before I see them. They were very well controlled, 6th percentile for years and then all of a sudden their, their A1C is 9% and I get the referral and the doctor says, Deanna, I have no idea what's going on. They were doing great. They haven't changed anything. They're still exercising. They're taking the medications. This patient is very compliant what's going on well you have to remember diabetes is a progressive disease which means it progresses over time and it doesn't become easier to manage it actually becomes more difficult to manage so that is something that not a lot of people know and causes a lot of frustration so diabetes cannot be cured there's no cure to diabetes however diabetes can be managed with just lifestyle modification I have so many patients who are not on any medications. They maintain an A1C in the five percentile actually all through lifestyle modification. Did they cure the diabetes? Well, they didn't cure it, but they definitely are managing it without any medication. So you're probably wondering, what do you mean diabetes is a progressive disorder? Why is this a progressive disease? In order for you to understand why diabetes is a progressive disease, you have to understand the, in the way the diabetes does work. So we have the pancreas. The pancreas is responsible for making insulin, which is the key that moves glucose into the cell where we need it for energy. In type two diabetes, what's happening is either the pancreas is not making enough insulin or the pancreas is making enough insulin, meaning it's making enough of those keys that you need, but it's simply your cells are resistant, meaning the cells cannot open the doors. They try and for some reason it fails. We call that insulin resistance. Now for people with type 1 diabetes, which I'm not discussing in this video, basically the pancreas makes zero insulin. It's just not producing any insulin at all and those people will require insulin. However, for type 2 diabetes, which this video is geared toward, you are making insulin, you're either not making enough or you're not utilizing that, that appropriately. Progression of diabetes is not your fault. And these patients will, will always come in, they're very frustrated. They're like, I don't understand why, what happened. I don't know why I'm referred here. I didn't do anything. I'm taking all my meds. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. Then I sit down and I explain to them what is actually happening with their bodies and they feel so much better knowing that they actually didn't cause this. But I know that they didn't cause this. It's just the way the disease process actually works. You have to remember now also that as we age, unfortunately, our bodies do become more resistant. Yes, we get wiser, but our bodies are actually a lot more resistant as we get older. So the way, what your pancreas was doing and that overdrive that your pancreas was working, trying to produce more and more insulin than you needed, all of a sudden your pancreas gives out. Think of like heart transmission, it's, oh, it's working on overdrive for a long time eventually it can no longer do the job and it stops working. So that's what also happens with age is that the pancreas has overburned pretty much. It's worked too, too hard for so long, trying to compensate for the resistance in your body. And as we get older, maybe 10, 15 years into the disease, the pancreas can no longer do the job. So the medications need to be tailored all the time. We need to make adjustments. Um, I have patients who are unfortunately diagnosed I put them on medications, then they really get their act together, they start exercising, they start um, you know, eating right, and I take them off the medications, they come back in two, three years, and their sugars are very high all of a sudden. This is the classic scenario, and I have to sit down and explain to them, it is nothing that they did, it's just that the pancreas was working for the past three, four years, 
and now it can no longer do what it was doing therefore we have to start putting them back on patients sometimes i have to put them on insulin if medications are not adequate enough so obviously that's all patient uh, tailored depending on what the patient needs however the good news is that there are things that you can do to slow down the progression of diabetes for example i mentioned in previous videos that i have a family history of diabetes Therefore, I know I'm at higher risk for developing diabetes in the future. I exercise regularly and I eat as best as I can. So let's just say I were to get diabetes by age 40, if that was really, if I didn't eat good and if I didn't exercise, I might develop diabetes even in my 30s or 40s because of my family history and obviously my poor choices. Because I do both, I exercise and I'm very uh, diligent about what I put in my body. I can prolong that, so I will probably still develop diabetes. I will just prolong that maybe when I'm in my 60s or even 70s, hopefully I can prolong it that far out. And then remember, I might only require one oral agent at that point versus by, by if I were to develop diabetes at age 40, by age 70, I might already be on insulin. So I cannot overemphasize how important it is, although we might not be able to prevent it, we can definitely delay it and we can definitely delay the progression of the disease. One, obviously the number one thing is we want to eat healthy as we're watching our carb intake. ADA recommends we, we, um, we follow our carbohydrate intake. We want to choose whole nutrient dense sources such as fruits and vegetables. Obviously we want to avoid refined processed sugars, your cookies, your candy, ice cream, all of those things. So yes, we can still have carbohydrates, but we should be choosing the dense, the more complex carbohydrates, which I am gonna talk a lot about because diet is so important. Obviously staying active is so important. If, if walking is the only thing you can do, go for it. Um, that's good enough as long as you're moving. I want, I always tell my patients, do what you can every day. 10 minute walk is better than no minute walk. So make sure that you are doing everything that you can in your power. Um, to stay as active as you can and always eating healthy. If you want to always watch our weight, make sure you're watching, you're uh, following your BMI, making sure you're keeping your BMI within the target range. I am going to put a calculator down below, but really we want a BMI around 18 to 25. That is a normal and healthy BMI. The good news guys is that we can delay the progression of this disease. Make sure you guys are really doing everything that you can. Um, eating healthy, every choice you make makes a big difference. Even getting rid of one snack per day that you know is not a good snack is going to make a big difference in the long run. Staying as active, I don't care if it's a 10 minute, 15, whatever you can do, uh, walk, uh, weight, whatever it is that you enjoy, it is better than you sitting on the couch. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, share, and please share your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys think and your own experiences with this disease.